I said, maybe my enemies are not happy that I'm leaving Nigeria. <laughs> so guys, the first time I was leaving my country to come to the Philippines, I thought I was traveling to Europe or America, like a cold country. So you need to see the way I dressed, I covered myself. Well, it helped me when I was on a plane from Lagos to Doha. They served us some Nigerian food. But from Doha to Manila, it was a different food. But guys, I said, what kind of food is this? Is this what they're going to be giving me in the Philippines? Guess what? I said, I cannot allow this food to waste. I ate it. <laughs> and then the air hostess said, Mom, do you want juice or wine? Um, guys, you know, it's my first time on the flight. Okay. And I wanted to behave like a big girl, like a city girl. I said, wine, please. <laughs> So, when she brought the wine, she did not tell me that the wine is alcoholic. And I don't know that a wine was alcoholic. And when I tasted it, it was alcoholic. I'm like, hey, maybe if I ask her for juice, maybe she might think I'm a pain in the ass. Mm. I said, okay, I'm going to eat it then. I'm going to drink it just the way I ate the food. I drank it. Guys, guess what? I had a very bad stomach ache. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my goodness. I thought I was going to die. My stomach was, I was in pain. I'm like, why did I have to drink this alcohol? Oh my gosh, guys. I was crying. I alerted everyone on the plane. I said, my stomach, my stomach, my stomach, my stomach. Oh my goodness. And then I was thinking, I said, Maybe my enemies are not happy that I'm leaving Nigeria. I said, maybe my village people followed me abroad. Hi. I said, God, please, let put my enemies to shame. Put my enemies to shame. I was thinking, I, oh my goodness. And then I went to the bathroom. I stayed there. I came up. And then after some time, I drank lots of water and then I slept off. And when I woke up, it was the pain was there, but not as it was before. When we arrived at our destination, I said I was going to take my blanket, my headphone, my toothbrush, my socks, my eye shield, everything. Because I paid for it, I said. Guys, do you know how much my mom spent? That is a whole lot of money. I said, no, I'm going to take this blanket. And I asked someone beside me, will they allow me to take this blanket? They said, no, you just have to drop it. I said, me, I'm not dropping it. So I put the blanket in my bag and I saw that some people dropped their blanket. I carried their blanket and <laughs> I held it in my hand. And then the security man said, mom, drop the blanket. I said, but we, I paid a lot of money. They said, drop the blanket. <laughs> I dropped it on the way out, but I was happy that the one in my bag was there. I had the headphone there. I have the eye shield, even my bread. I did not eat my bread. I have my bread in my bag. I said, my mother's money will not be in vain. <laughs> And when I came out after immigration stamping my passport, I'm like, Jesus is Lord, what kind of country that is this? It's so hot. I thought I was going to America or US because I used to see people that when they travel abroad, I see them making videos and taking photos of, you know, wearing winter clothes. Oh my gosh. I was sweating like a Christmas goat. Guys, that was how I took off my winter clothes. I said, no, no, no. To me, all these things were really, really crazy. 
Well, it was my first time of coming to Philippines that I experienced this. Actually, my first time of living in Nigeria. What was your experience when you were leaving your country? <laughs> Please do not call me a village girl because if you do, I'm going to fix it. <laughs> Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.